Okay, everyone, so we're gonna first start out with doing our right lobe of the thyroid. So the very first thing that we're gonna do with our lobe is orient it. And if you remember, the thyroid lobe tapers on the superior aspect, and our isthmus margin is going to be medial. So whenever I'm grossing, I like to lay the specimen as though it's inside of me. So I'm gonna have this be superior, this will be uh, lateral, medial, anterior, posterior. So in a human thyroid, we're gonna be concave on the posterior aspect where we rest against the larynx. So our isthmus margin will be on the medial aspect towards the inferior. So we'll say that this is our isthmus margin right here. The rest of this is going to be thinly encapsulated with our thyroid capsule. So we have our orientation. So since this is just a single lobe and there's not a standard measurement for a single lobe, we don't need to weigh this. So we're just going to measure it in three dimensions. So it is 7.5 centimeters from superior to inferior, 3.5 centimeters from medial to lateral, and 1.8 centimeters from anterior to posterior. So, Here's our lobe. Sometimes they come um, oriented with a suture on the superior pole, but not always. So I have three different ink colors here. So I'm gonna do anterior one color, posterior another color, and isthmus margin a third color. So I'm gonna do black for my isthmus margin. And obviously with this piece of steak, um, everything on the medial aspect looks the same, but when you get a thyroid specimen, you'll usually have some cautery artifact on the isthmus margin and it usually protrudes just a little bit. So I'm gonna ink my isthmus margin here, one color, and then I'm gonna ink my anterior thyroid capsule and my posterior thyroid capsule, each their own color. So I'm gonna do anterior green, maybe. There we go, we got some green. So again, this is medial, this is superior. So I'm gonna flip this over, this is anterior. I'm gonna ink it green. So just like with inking, when you guys learned intro to grossing inking, you want your inks to completely meet each other. Usually on a thyroid that comes from a human, you're going to have a nice kind of plane where it becomes concave and that's your true posterior. On this piece of steak, as you can tell, it's not exactly perfect where anterior ends and posterior begins. So I'm gonna do kind of these three sides as my anterior. And then kind of along this side as well. And then I'm gonna flip this over and do my posterior red. So let's close up the green ink. And for this um, thyroid lobe, we're gonna pretend that our lesion is a papillary one. So doing posterior here. Obviously, I want my inks to completely meet each other all the way around. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a paper towel and put on my mordant. Mordant off this thyroid lobe. Okay, green is anterior, red is posterior, black is the isthmus margin. I'm gonna change my gloves so that they're nice and itchy. And now we're going to serially section this specimen from superior to inferior. So you guys can use any type of kitchen knife that you have. So blade safety, superior to inferior. So we're gonna serially section all the way through and we're going to lay out all of our individual slices, just like this. 
about 0 0.5 centimeters. Section all the way down. Okay, so now I've serially sectioned my entire right lobe from superior to inferior. My green ink is anterior, my red ink is posterior. So as you'll see, all of these slices are laid out the same way. Green and red are in the same plane, so it's easy to maintain orientation. I've also labeled which slices contain my black inked isthmus margin. So you could take a gross photograph here so that your pathologist could identify everything. So we now identify our lesion. I created a lesion here out of black ink. So now what we're going to do is measure it in three dimensions. So it seems to be the biggest on this slice. So it's 1.5 by 1.4. And then it's the entirety of this slice, just a little bit of this one. So 0.5, we'll say it's 0.2 of this slice, and it's almost all the way through this slice, so 0.5, so, or 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 is 1.1. So 1.5 by 1.4 by 1.1 centimeters. And then it is, seems to be the closest to my anterior ink surface here. So 0 0.5 centimeters from the anterior inked, surface and oh, I just made my ink bleed a little bit but it was zero point now we'll say it's abutting the uh, posterior red inked margin and it is 0 0.5 centimeters from the closest isthmus resection margin okay so um, I've given our three dimensions my relationship to the important structures the other thing it's important for thyroid nodules is to note what lobe and the location. So it's in the right lobe in the inferior pole of the right lobe. Okay, so now we're going to take our representative sections. So we have, uh, it was 1.5 in its greatest um, dimension, but since we just have three slices, I'm going to submit all three of these slices. So I'm going to submit this slice here to show the relationship to the isthmus resection margin. And then you can do um, another slice like this to show the lesion again with the isthmus resection margin. You can put that in here. Uh, and then we could just do the remainder of the lesion. We would submit that in an additional cassette here. And then we're just going to take one section from the superior lobe and one from the uninvolved inferior lobe. If for uh, when you section, you are far away from the isthmus margin, so let's say our lesion was up here, in order to measure the distance to your isthmus margin, you would measure the thickness of each of these slices until you got to the margin and add them together. That would be your distance. And because of the plane of sectioning, we won't be able to show the relationship of lesion to margin. So what you would do is submit your lesion with the inked um, thyroid capsule, and then you would submit um, your isthmus margin as its own section to verify that there is no lesion at the margin. So that is our thyroid lobe for papillary carcinoma.